Hi Special Agents, Mrs G back again with some brand new arithmetic paper practice. This is from last year's Secret Mission and this is all about multiplication and division. Okay, let's go. So the first few questions are sums that you already know how to do and they're based on your twos, your fives and your ten times tables. Nice and easy Special Agents. So two times seven. You might already know that two times seven or double seven is something. If you're not sure, work it out. Seven fingers up. Let's count in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Well done if you beat Mrs G to that. Fantastic. Let's practice these skills. Six times two, double six. Six fingers up. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 well done you can pause the video and race mrs g to these if you want i know some of you have probably worked them out already nine times two nine fingers up double nine two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen well done two times two everyone say it that's right four make sure you don't do two add two that's a multiplication sign isn't it three times two or double three that's it, six, well done, if you can answer all of those without counting it out on your fingers. You still need to do that, special agents, that is entirely up to you. Okay, well done. Ooh, ten times five, our five times table now. Now, you could do five fingers up and counting tens, or ten fingers up and counting fives. Okay, I'm going to do ten fingers up and practice my five times table. Are you going to do it with me? Five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Well done, guys. Okay, let's practice some fives. Six times five. Six fingers up. Let me hear you. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Great job. Nine times five. Nine fingers up. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45. I can hear someone telling me already, well done for being faster than Mrs G. Two times five, two fingers up, five, ten. Well done. Now we're still on multiplication. This one tricks us in class. It doesn't say five and five. It says five, lots of five. Five fingers up, let's count in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Well done, special agents. Marvellous multiplication. Okay, now the opposite of multiplication is divide. You can use your you can use the arrow method, you can count on in your fingers, or you can use times tables to help you here. So a hundred divided by ten. Ten times something is a hundred. Okay, so the arrow is showing us that we're going to count in tens until we get to a hundred. Start with no fingers up, let me hear you do it. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Did you have 10 fingers up? Well done. If you knew that 10 times 10 is 100, you can work it out that way too. That's marvellous. Okay, let's do some dividing. 60 divided by 10. Think you've got it? No fingers up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I had six fingers up then. Well done. 10 divided by 10. 10. Oh, one. Nice and quick one there. 50 divided by 10. That's right, it's five. Well done. You can always pause the video if you need more thinking time at all. 70 divided by 10. That's right, seven. Divine division. Well done, fantastic. Now, this is another divide, but it's our five times table now. So 15 divided by five, two ways. Special agents, five times something is always 15. Or no fingers up, let's count in fives. Five, 10, 15. Did you get the answer? Three. Well done. If you did, I'm very impressed. Okay, let's practice dividing by five. 25 divided by five. No fingers up. Let's get counting in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I had five fingers up, did you? Well done. 40 divided by five. Five times what is always 40. Start with no fingers up. Let's go with our fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I had eight fingers up. Hope you did too. 10 divided by five. Five, 10 is two. Well done. What about 30 divided by five? No fingers up. Let's get counting. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I had six fingers up. Well done if you did too. Fantastic. Now, 
Sometimes they try and trick you and they show you the divide sum another way, a fraction sign, fraction of numbers. We have looked at this in class now. Number seven says one half of six equals what? Now, if you look carefully at the fraction, there's a line in the middle, there's a number at the top and there's a number at the bottom. And that looks like a divide sign because this is asking you what six divided by two is. When we divide by two, we find a half. So six divided by two, two, four, six, is three. Don't let that fraction sign trick you, okay? It is a divide sign and sometimes you won't have to draw them out, okay? So let's practice this skill. So half of eight, eight divided by two, two, four, six, eight. Half of eight is four. Chop, chop. Well done. What about half of twelve? Twelve divided by two. No fingers up. Let's get counting in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Half of twelve or twelve divided by two is six. Well done. Half of ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, five. Well done. Ten divided by two is five. Half of eighteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18. Did you get nine? Now you're going to need to use this skill later on for something a bit trickier, but I'm sure you're going to be amazing at this. Well done. Now, sometimes it asks you a fraction that you don't know the times tables for. If in doubt, share it out. So this one, it says one quarter of eight. So one quarter is dividing by four. We're going to draw four boxes and we're going to share this out to help us. You've got lots of space and I'd love to see your working out. So when we share, we share equally. Equally means the same. So I've only got eight because I'm finding one quarter of eight. Let's share eight. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've stopped now because I only had eight. And if you notice, we share it fairly. We go to every box and then back again. Now, one quarter is asking you how many dots are in one box. One quarter of eight is, that's right, two. Fantastic. Well done. Now, this one says one quarter of 16. So we're dividing by four. Let's get these four boxes up. And this time we're sharing 16. Are you ready to help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Phew, we made it. Now, to find one quarter of 16, how many dots are in one box? That's it. One quarter of 16 or 16 divided by four is four. Well done. OK, now, sometimes they try and trick you and they show you a they show you a bigger number because they think that they're going to fool you. But you're a special agent and you don't need to draw. You've not got time to share 80 out. OK, so half of 80 is a really big job for you to do. It will take you too long to draw it out. So you can use what you already know here. So half is dividing by two. Now, if we work out what half of eight is, two, four, six, eight is four. We can use that to help us work out what half of 80 is. So half of eight is four, but 80 is not the same as the number eight, is it? 80 is a tens number. We've moved it along the place value chart. So now those four, that four stands for four tens. And how many ones have we got? That's right, we've got no ones. So if half of eight is four, half of 80 is 40. Let's prove that that method works. Okay, so half of 80 is 40. Let me just show you now how I would divide 80 by two. Now, I'm not going to draw dots. I could draw one tens, though, a big long line. You can do it that way if you want, but I'd love for you to challenge yourself and use what you already know. So here we go, counting in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So there you go. If I know that half of eight is four, I also know that half of 80 is 40. Let's try and have a go at this skill. So... We, we did these a little earlier. If half of 10 is five, what would half of 100 be? Now, 10 and 100, how, is, how are those numbers different? That's right, 100 has got a zero on the end. It is a tens number. Okay, so if half of 10 is five, half of 100 would be 50. 
because we've got five and we have to make it a tens number. We have to add the zero because it's moved along the place value chart, hasn't it? Well done. What about half of 12? If half of 12 is six, don't be nervous because it's a big number, what would half of 120 be? If we change that six into a tens number, what number will it be? It won't be six anymore. It will be 60. Well done. Fantastic. Last one for this morning. If half of six is three, what would half of 60 be? Pause the video if you need more thinking time. If half of six is three, what would half of 60 be? That's it. 30. We're changing that three into a tens number. Well done, special agents. Leave me a like if you'll be tuning in next time.